Hello, hello, beautiful humans. I am Lena Queen. My pronouns are queen, they, and she. Heavy on the queen, heavy on the they. I am the owner of Journey Wellness and Consulting Group, a somatic sex therapy and psychotherapy practice. I am also the founder of the Whole Self Healing Institute, a healing institute dedicated to the sexual liberation and sexual healing of black women and femmes, queer and non-queer. And I am also the curator of the Erotic Life Coach Program, Healing the Erotic Self. So I wanted to jump on and say today is August 1st, the first day of Black August and also Erotic Embodiment Month. Both of these themes are dedicated to Black liberation and my work in Black liberation and in Black healing is to help us heal our erotic self, which is our whole self. Um, I invite you to uh, get to know me and my work. Um, if you are not black, um, I invite you to get to know yourself in this work and more importantly, how you internalize anti-blackness, um, both in your own personal healing and in your professional self. I support um, people who are pre pre predominantly women who are looking to seek a better relationship to self. But my work is for all genders. Um, my work uh, is for cisgender women and transgender women, um, period. I'm both political, queer in both my politics in addition to my relationship to pleasure, power, and pain. Um, I want us to go deeper in our work and I'm hoping that with the things that I have provided, I could be one of those uh, spaces that we talk about the work going deeper because the last few years we've seen the work needing to happen but we're hamster wheeling on the same thing um i'm hoping to disrupt the hamster wheel and i know there are lots of you who are also disrupting your own hamster wheel um i believe healing is both individually determined and driven and community supported so I show up in this work as both a person who has been in my own healing for the last 22 years, 20 years, 20 years, um, in addition to a professional who provides and curates healing spaces and supports healing spaces. So I'm going to come up as the both and because I do believe healing is the both and. Um, this is just a quick like, hello, please say hello back. Um, stay tuned as I am transitioning to work more with the Institute as my practice is soundly established here in the United States in Delaware and moving to do more of the group work that I um, that I'm leaning into um, also happy to announce that I will be starting groups this month um, both groups that are mental health groups, healing groups, um, all the groups, but really those groups. Um, so I'm here to do the work, and I hope you're here to do the work as well. Uh, the other thing too I think you can expect from me is not to be on social media like that. Social media is a tool that I use to communicate that I'm doing offline. And while I do know that online groups um, are absolutely positively important and continue groups and engagement and all that. That's not how I'm going to operate. Um, I predominantly operate offline and the things that I do virtually online, which I'll be moving towards the Institute, um, again, will be not from the traditional use of what we've seen social media do because that's something that I actively want to not lean into. I understand the systems of capitalism and colonialism, how it shows up for me in my work. There's this thing that constantly has us doing more. Um, I really appreciate the NAP ministry and the teachings from the NAP ministry because it's a constant reminder of how rest shows up, how leisure shows up in our work, in our healing, in our lives. 
and I am going to do my best to model for myself and maybe even for you um, what I want is to live a life in flow um, and a life that is not conducive to what capitalism and, and there's the push to do more this is not about me doing more this is about me integrating the other parts that I want to do um, because at the end of the day that's important I am going to center myself um, and I'm going to teach you how to center yours um, in a way where it is not self-sabotaging in a way where it is understanding that selfishness is not selfish, it's self-preservation. Um, and integrate the relationship between mind-body, integrate understanding how we show up in our multiplicity of identities in these systems of oppression, and to understand um, how to create a system of care that is going to inform and support our healing with the purpose of living liberated. Um, that's it. I think that's all I have for right now. Um, there are some, again, please visit sisterpsychologist.com for more information about me. Um, in addition to staying tuned to the Institute's website, censoringourselves.org and sistersexologist.com um, for how the workshops and, and offerings that I'm going to offer on this side of my professional practice um, shows up. Stay also tuned for Womanism Sacred Circle, um, a sexual healing retreat for black women and femmes. Um, including those who are assigned male at birth. Um, it's coming soon. Um, coming soon. So stay tuned for that as well. That's it. No pitchy ideas. Just me trying this video thing for the umpteenth time. Um, and starting this new path. So thank you for joining me. And um, See you next time.